Today, I want to talk about three reasons why you let other people run your business. And when you do, they're going to run your business into the ground. What's up, fam? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. And as always, hope you guys are cutting on. Here on this channel, I lay out strategies and I also tell you about techniques in order for your lawn business to grow so you can cut on. So fam, we always know that other people try to tell you how to run your business. Three reasons why I believe other people are running your business into the ground. Number three, you don't really believe you run a business. So the idea is if you don't believe you run a business, then you don't have policies of a business. So you let other people run your business. Cause guess what? They don't believe you run a business. So at the end of the day, you're not running a business, you're running a hustle and you're just hustling around doing stuff. And this is the reason why they can tell you what to do. This is the reason why they can run your, oh, should we say business into the ground? Because you have to accept the fact that in a business, you have to have policies and procedures so your clientele, your guys who work for you, know exactly what to do. And I'm not saying this stuff is not easy, what I'm saying is at the end of the day, if you don't have it in writing, you are talking to the trees. Put it in writing so they won't run your business into the ground. Number two, you don't know your price because technically you're listening to other people tell you what your price should be. You have to use other people's situations. I get it. I know you're saying how much this charge, how much that charge, but until you set a clock, a timer, and understand how long it takes you in a yard and know those square feet, man, I'm telling you, someone else is gonna tell you how long it should take, like me. I'm gonna tell you how long, another guy on YouTube gonna tell you something else, and they're gonna tell you all these things. Look in the, go back to any of my videos where I'm giving suggestions. People have comments that tell, help me at times, but at the end of the day, you got to live this. And the only way you can live it, take your clock out, take your watch out, understand what the prices are, go out there, cut some yard. Don't let, the, don't let your clientele dictate to you how much to charge. You dictate to the client how much to charge, which goes back to what I just said, have your policy set up. All right, fam? The number one reason you let other people run your business is because of fear. That's right, because of fear. You're afraid to tell the person, hey, this is what it has to be, I'm sorry, because you're afraid they're gonna walk away. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, I had several clients to walk away this year. Now, I'm gonna take some of the blame, it may be something that I didn't do or some of my guys didn't do, but at the end of the day, I have a policy set up to cover me, so when they start saying this, that, and the third, I'm like, no, it's in writing, it's in writing. And I told you guys, fam, you want a contract. These people will drop you like a hot potato. They will. But then you got the ones that's really loyal and those are the ones that are gonna be, they're gonna ride you out. Meaning if you make a mistake, they still gonna ride with you. As long as you go back and fix that mistake. So fam, don't have fear this year. Raise your prices. I'm talking to myself too. Raise them up and understand that at the end of the day, you can't cut all this grass by yourself. You're going to get enough clients. Just like I know I'm going to get enough clients. I'm going to make it. Um, even if even if I make less money, I'm, I'm my focus is to make better profits this year and give it to my guys. You know, I got enough equipment this year. Um, so I'm not rolling in fear of whether or not a mower go down. I got another mower. I'm not rolling in fear whether or not a client says I'm too high. Nope, I know my price and my prices are good and I'm gonna roll with it because I've been doing this too long to let someone who, I, no disrespect to what they do for a living, tell me how to go out here and cut grass compared to what? Compared to what? Cause you done seen somebody come and cut your grass and they charge you something and it was 2005. Well, welcome to 2022. Things done went up. So fam, be encouraged. Understand that you don't want other people to run your business. Put those things in place so you can cut on. Fam, if you want other strategies on how to grow your lawn care business, go ahead and click this video right here.